What's going on, good people? So, today, your girl got to set up these, these beer traps. I mean, these slug traps. And y'all know what I got. Now, this is the same beer from last year, y'all. It don't matter that the beer old, it still works. To let y'all know I don't drink, though. Well, this trash beer when you buy it, but we don't get on that. Uh, but yeah, I got some strawberries coming in. They looking good, and I do not want the slugs to get my stuff. So I just want to show y'all real quick how you do this. So, take your little trap. Let me see. As best you can, you want them suckers level with the ground. I got some Epsom salt in here. I don't want that in there. Uh, you want them level with the ground so that they make it easy for them slugs to just walk right in there. Well, they don't have legs, but to slide right on in there. Okay? So, you just want to kind of make your little Try to keep the dirt out of it. Make your little hole. You see how I make that level with the ground? And it, it don't have to be out. It don't have to be no particular place. But you see, I just have them randomly throughout. Now, the yeast, they'll be more attracted to the yeast than they will uh, the strawberries. So once you get your traps put down, you just want to fill that up. Got a little head on it now. Okay? You just want to fill them. Now, here's a tip now. If it's going to rain today, the next day, the day after that, wait till you're going to have a few days of, of you know, where it ain't going to rain. Uh, because when it rains, the rain will get in there and dilute them. Now, they make some traps with some tops that the rain won't get in there. But when you got just this, you know, the rain going to get in there. So, there you go. Y'all can see that strawberry in the middle of your screen and some flowers and some more flowers. I said I better put this out here because if I don't, just like here's one right here. Had his head in the dirt. Anyway, uh... I know them slugs was going to get me, but uh, let me walk around right quick and show y'all what I got, because that wasn't number two minutes worth of action, and that ain't going to get it. I'm going to set this up here. I know the people probably think I'm drinking and going, but I am not. So y'all bear with me just a second. Got to get the tripod together. All right. So, look how that kohlrabi came back here. Yeah. That sucker ain't playing. But it's uh, it's going to seed. It's doing it kind of slow, though. I had some okra to come up. I don't know. I can't remember which seeds these are. They ain't coming up. They ain't growing very fast. <laughs> That's usually a sign that the seed wasn't all that hot. Uh, all the rest of this stuff is looking fine. This this broccoli right here has just taken the bleep off. So has my Romanescos over there. They look really good too. Um, Looks like I see a lot of pollinator activity on my kale over there. Y'all see my new bed I put in? I don't think I had filmed it yet. Put my new bed in. It's a bunch of wood in the bottom of there. A lot of the top of that is wood that had already broken down. Was already dirt. Um, we were supposed to get rain the last two or three days. And we got nothing. And I'm just like, fire all the meteorologists. Because I don't understand. Y'all missed it on three or four days. But anyway. Um, yeah. So, waiting on that to rain. Because anybody knows anything about rain. Knows that the rain's going to settle it in. I also took... A mushroom log um, one more mushroom log I have one more back there but it's actually still making mushrooms and a matter of fact I may show that on this video um, I 
broke up that mushroom log and put it in there to inoculate that bed so hopefully that bed will grow some uh oyster mushrooms as well um carrots are just looking i know the carrots ain't going to see oh no this is something else this is some clover or something something that i don't need that's a weed come here come here get out of there okay yeah anyway so carrots are looking lovely the garlic is looking good I just harvested on this yesterday. Can you tell? No, you can't tell. Neither can I. Chris, what are you harvesting? Chrissy? Hey, baby. I believe he's been across the street eating the neighbor's food. Anyway, um, these brassicas aren't growing that fast, but they seem to be speeding up. I think a lot of it is really just that rosemary is shading them. I think that's what a lot of it is. Now, these brassicas are looking better. I'm going to be honest. I can't remember what this is. Um, these are dragon's tail radishes. I seem like I put some okra seeds in there. But I think those are those okra seeds from years and years ago. That I didn't think were going to germinate. So I'm sure. I'm probably pretty sure that's why they didn't come up. Um, these over here are some more uh, purple rat tail radishes. Um, I planted some okra somewhere else. I know I planted some around the corner. That ain't came off. I mean, this stuff is just looking. Uh. Um, this shard is looking pretty good. Celery's still going. I'm going to plant something else in there. But I'm really trying to see if these pavano peppers are going to come back. Uh, these peas are actually putting on flowers and stuff. No, nah, but see, but you a weed, though. And you can't go to flower up in here because... You ain't gonna do nothing but bring more of your babies. Come up out of there. Okay, so, yeah. See, they're actually, they're trying to do a little something. They growing. So, I'm, I'm gonna leave them for now. Because I was getting ready to pull at least some guns. Because y'all see, they making flowers. Um, several of them. But yeah, I was getting ready to pull them some guns. Matter of fact, look at that. That snuck up on me. I didn't even see that one. Um, these are the picket peas, supposed to be the best uh, cow pea, flavor-wise, supposed to be. Um, grown in uh, Washington Parish, Louisiana. That's down in South Louisiana. Um, first time I've ever grown this particular variety. We're going to see what's up. This little pea down here. These are so sweet. Y'all going to have to forgive me. It's snack break. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. That's a sin and a shame. The greed is real. Let me see. Huh? Wait. It's not opening. Oh, here you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Get all of you out. Mm. They really could have gotten a little big, but I'm greedy. Anyway, so. <sighs> I swear to God, I'm pulling weeds out of this thing every day. Um, never fear. I got a few beets coming up in here. Like, that's a beet. Those over there are beets. That's a beet back there. Um, but I'm going to plant tomatoes in there. This one's probably going to get some tomatoes too. No, this one may get peppers. Like that kind of empty spot right there. That pepper go there. Pepper go there. Um y'all what's going on over here so just watermelons coming up this one must have just came up last night or something so did this one and i'm probably gonna thin these because y'all see how close they are um i'm gonna see which plants prove to be better specimens and as y'all can see my dragon fruit they looking all right some of them didn't make it but that's all right that happens i had a whole bunch of seeds in there too um this must come up last night too no rice yet just seems to be all watermelon so far um but I, i'm excited for these so those are those starbursts that are P. Smith sent me. These are also some that P. Smith sent me as well. These here, I think, are sugar babies. I think. 
And I think these are the ones, the Benin watermelons, um, that uh, Talita sent me. I'm excited about the Benin watermelons as well. I'm curious to know how sweet they are. Um, I know there are certain watermelons in Africa that are not sweet. They're intended to be enjoyed as a savory type thing, but eh. I'm not saying I don't like that. I'm just saying your girl like her stuff sweet. Just saying. Um, the uh, sprouting broccoli is still giving me. Oh, hello, B. Oh, he flew off. The sprouting broccoli is still giving me some nice. Uh, Y'all see the bee down there? Oh, you getting on the broccoli flowers? Um, still giving me some little sprouts, but. I'm going to be honest with you. I have so many seeds for that that I may not collect seeds. I may not. I might pull it, which is something that I usually never do. But I may. But y'all look. Oh, y'all see. Can y'all see the mulberry? So that's gonna be a mulberry. Do tell me nothing. So I got those little couple, and then I had I saw another one over here somewhere. I can't remember where. I ain't gonna try to find it. I'll be all day. There's one up there. See it? So here on the mulberries. These are my pomegranate babies that came out of dormancy. All of those in there on both sides are the ones that have been. Y'all don't look at this shower curtain. I'm going to take that greenhouse down and I put the other one up. And yes, the other one's going up um, very, very soon. So if y'all look, all these little blueberries. I saw bees out here on them, so hopefully they have been being pollinated. And my blackberries are starting to grow little flowers on them. But you can just see it's, I mean, blooms everywhere on this blueberry. I don't even know what kind this was. When I bought it, it simply said blueberry. My fig tree is just bursting out of dormancy. Um, that's a fig tree that I bought and it was almost dead. I mean, literally, it was almost dead. And um, these figs are looking really good. I was over here the other day, I saw some where the figs was already. Yeah, here they are. Can y'all see that? That little round thing, that's a fig, but I don't never worry about these figs. They come out of dormancy like wildfire. That's some poke salad there. That's a nice looking specimen. Um, let's see. Where are we at? 13 minutes. This ain't that long. I want to show y'all something. If I can show y'all what I get lit up. So good news on the banana front. I really hadn't had good news on the bananas since uh, the frost. Like I told y'all, I knew the roots didn't freeze because the ground didn't freeze. It didn't get that cold. It got cold, but it wasn't that cold. So, um, I have thrown diatomaceous earth just all over because ants got down in here. But what I wanna try to show you if I can do it without getting bit up. Can y'all see that? That's a banana pup coming. A little baby, little new banana. Where that one had died. And then there's this one. Where the big one died. So I'm going to chop, probably chop that big one out the way. And let the let it feed that one. It may be one on the other side too. Where that third banana was. I'm almost sure there probably will be. Or, or will be or to come up or something. I don't see anything as of yet but them ants are still in there something fierce 
Yeah, I had some, like I said, some diatomaceous earth that I put out in there. I stir them up to make them walk through it so it'll kill them. Um, these are all my little starts. I started some new stuff. That's all new stuff up that way. These are some brassicas. Can't remember what they are. Um, I don't know what kind of worm this is. But what you're going to do is get away from my plants. This is something germinating already. And I forget what I put in this. <laughs> um, this is obviously a tomato. This is why it's your label. When this stuff get bigger, I probably can tell what it is. I think this is eggplant. I think both of those are eggplant. I'm pretty sure that's tomato. Um, over here, I planted tomatoes, but there are weeds in this. But here are the tomatoes. They're here, here, here. I planted way more tomatoes than that, but I'm sure they'll come up. But there are weeds in there, so I'm going to have to weed that out. Those are leeks. These are supposed to be American flag leeks. I forget which leeks those are. Those are going in the front in the holes where the cinder blocks have holes in them. That's where those are going. In this one, I planted, I think, peppers. Nothing yet. Um, there's a pepper coming up in the very center of that. We'll see if the rest of those if peppers come up. I know I, I started some... Uh, guava seeds as well and some pigeon peas um and uh this lemongrass see the green shoot right here so the lemongrass is coming back that i separated which lemongrass oh if you got roots you're probably good um <clears throat> that's kind of how that works but i'm excited about my bananas Coming back. I got a kitty pool over there. Letitia is reminding me because she planted in hers today. Letitia is reminding me to plant in the freaking kitty pool. Every year, I negate the kitty pool. I could not negate the kitty pool. And I think I know where I want to plant it too. I think I'm going to put it right over there because I was able to clean up some stuff in my yard. So the green sorrel is looking pretty good. I put potatoes in there. I'm going to put soil over the top and put cucumbers in the top of that. Um, I put potatoes in the back of there. It's a little lettuce, a little red vein sorrel. Um, y'all look at this palm, this persimmon. Like, I'm not sure who telling people that persimmons grow slow. Look at this. And I have not fed this tree. Not, not on purpose. That's like three inches of growth. Since it came out of dormancy. Three inches of growth. Every day I come out here. And this tree looks better and better. Um, I think it's just loving the ground. I think it just loves it. Um, let's see here. Kumquat looking the same. Orange looking the same. All the leaves are off. Y'all know I planted all them potatoes and stuff over here. I had to water them. Um, my big pear tree is showing like it's going to have a little bit of fruit. Not much. But y'all know how heavy the fruit was last year. If you didn't see the video... I mean, harvesting last year. Y'all go back and look at it. But as you can see, there's a little peach right there. Um, see if I can find y'all another peach. Here's another peach right here. Knock the little thingy off. I see it. So they're kind of like peaches all over this this tree it's not the heaviest i've ever seen it bear but we gotta wait till these get a little bigger to see if they'll stay um this one had gave me quite a few peaches last year but it looks like it might give me something this year they usually trade off one gives me more than the others and they they switch that's what they usually do the brassicas are looking good in here these are supposed to be deep purple bunching onions. I think they just flat lied to me on the seeds. They are onions of some sort. And they probably are bunching onions. But they're not deep burgundy like they said. Um, or deep purple. I think this is a kaolette. I think that's a kaolette. I forget what I planted on this side. I think I might have planted some kind of cabbage on this side. I can't remember. Um, this is bok choy. That has gone to seed. I'm gonna let that finish up. Take the seeds, pull it. 
um this celery ain't looking so well it's looking better now it was looking a lot worse but i know this one took for a fact like you can when it starts growing up tall like that you can tell that your celery butt took and those are the celery butts that i put in at thanksgiving which i think i need to post the video and i know somebody's gonna say oh that video is way from thanksgiving get over it guess what content creators lose lose footage all the time um like if you're so perfect that you don't lose footage great like i don't care that's just how i feel about that um i mean would y'all rather be not have footage i mean you know some people only post once a month and you can tell they're making up content don't have no content don't have no ideas you can just tell they keep doing the same videos over and over again but we won't get on that let me see if my lsu are coming out of dormancy they are so these are my lsu goals that's one of them that one with the little bitty leaves is the other one y'all don't worry about these onions when they're ready i will pull them out and i'm not gonna leave these um these figs in here like you know forever this was just a pot just to you know get them going i'm gonna put them in their own individual these are actually going in the ground uh I think I want to get them in the ground this year, but I'm going to wait until after they fruit. I see, ooh, I see a bumblebee on the on the blueberries. Yes, work that flower. Work that flower. Yes. Work it. Work it. Okay. Um, I slaved the hell out of bees on my property. That's for damn show. Sure. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. I think that's it, everybody. So, um, these are looking really good. The ones that made it really made it and um i'm happy to see that i think my guama cheese might be dead I'm not sure but it is what it is so but yeah i think that's about it we'll see if the daffodils right here if they bloom or not but yeah till next time see you guys later